Hey, hey, it's Lucy here, Lucy B, um, your um, body and mindset mentor. So, if you've ever worked uh, with me ever at all in any way, you'll know that I do go on about incremental change. So the freedom hack this uh, week is um, go small. So it's a uh, teeny weeny things make a huge difference. Um, because it, doing doing something incremental and small means we can be consistent with that change and consistent. So if you do something, if you say, right, I want to do 25 sit-ups every night, why not try one? Do one every night because you're setting the change there. And if you did one every night, if you did, and then for a year, you'd be doing 365 whatever days there are in a year, um, more sit-ups than you did last year at night. So you see, uh, it, the small changes are the ones that we there that create habits and create long-term change. So um, that's why I always say do it small. And the problem, we've, so we've done the goal setting last week, the problem if, if we have big goals and then we the action we take is just so big, we are very likely to say, oh, I don't want to do that anymore. So I would implore you to whatever you are doing, do it incrementally. So if you, same with decluttering, same with all the things we've done so far, do it bit by bit by bit. Set yourself a task of clearing. If you are very, if you are a very cluttered, very busy mind, very cluttered person, it's going to take a bit of time and a, a bit of get, getting into it. So if you just look at a space, oh my gosh, just take that amount of space and clear that. And then that. And then that. Um, if you want to lose weight, say, oh, I want to lose five stone. Okay, you need to lose half a pound first. If you want to eat better, just generally eat better. Fine, start with an extra glass of water. Do you see? And then start saying, okay, do you know, maybe uh, um, I don't need want to eat so late, so I'm going to eat exactly the same as I do all day. I'm just going to cut that biscuit out at the end of the day. It really is, sim I want to do more exercise, I'm going to run every day. Okay, why don't you just try having a walk twice a week do you see and then you can build on that but if you say I'm gonna run every day and then one day you don't you failed in your head you'll say oh I failed I didn't do it so I'm gonna give up so the likelihood of failure is so much bigger than if we just give ourselves a chance um, and also you might not like running but you said that's what you're gonna do so then you end up doing something you don't even like because you've made this pact with yourself so how about try it see what you like see what you enjoy because life is meant to be fun people life is meant to be enjoyed so if you just don't like it just don't do it all right so if you say oh do you know I'd like to take up a class fine take up one class for one day see if you like it and then carry on um so whatever you are doing just do it small go minute make tiny changes and then build on them because the last thing that i ever thought i'd be doing um is well, I, I love i like intermittent fasting it really helps with bloating and ibs and stuff like that even uh, any period pains and things anyway so it's my little thumb to explain here so uh, I didn't first of all but right I'm going to just um, do 20 hours a day and only in four hours if I'd done that I'd have lasted about a day or two I wouldn't have even lasted a day I'd never have made it through the first day um, so what I did was I well, actually generally um, I don't really like eating at night so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just eat a little bit earlier at night and I'll be able to do 12 hours I like my breakfast I like something first in the morning and then I realized actually having something really early in the morning when I was about to do like a class because I don't generally do a class at 10 it wasn't that I was feeling a bit bloaty and stuff so then I said well how about I just push breakfast to after I did a bit of research and found out that actually eating doing exercise whilst fasted is actually really good for your body so I thought right I can then have something to eat 11 and all of a sudden I'm fasting a little bit longer. And now I do a fast, um, I sit between somewhere between 15 and 18 hours, um, and then occasionally I just don't bother, I don't want it, so I don't do it. I don't feel I have to, because it's my body talking to me and I'm listening. What works for my body won't work for your body and vice versa, you have to listen. But I wanted to try this, it does work for me. And I, yeah, I have to be really firm with myself sometimes, because.
because I know how much better I feel. And that's another thing. Sometimes we can sabotage ourselves, but that's a whole nother hack. So um, incremental change, whatever you want to achieve, do it small and add. Okay, got it. Let's do it. Um, and we are going to do um, a live uh, tapping session on Thursday to take an easy going small. And we're going to have a Q&A. So have your questions and things ready for me. Uh, email me if you want to. Uh, uh, call balance with Lucy at gmail.com. Um, send me a messenger through the Happiness Hunter Facebook page, through Twitter, not through Twitter through Instagram, whatever it is, send me a message, send me a pigeon, whatever it is, and we were going to do some Q&As and some tapping through to incremental change on Thursday's live. I can't wait to see you then from my heart to yours with love.